What's up, what's up? Six Sensei here bringing you some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 sniping on Village. And I happen to love this map for sniping, and you're going to see why. This game, spoilers, 29 and 7. Pretty good game of kill confirmed I have here. And I really, really enjoyed myself during this game. Just a lot of really good shots. And uh, I get a lot of people, and I see on montages and, and on, you know, different places that people think sniping is not balanced. That's what we're here to talk about today is that sniping is balanced in a whole lot of ways, in some ways that people don't think about. So uh, I made a little list here, a couple things I wanted to talk about, and the video is kind of short. Uh, the gameplay is only really like five minutes long. So uh, I'm going to try to, you know, pump through this, maybe have to make this a two-part series. But anyway, um, starting off with the slow fire rate, with the exception of the Barrett 50 cal, um, it just kind of has like, a, you know, all of these sniper rifles have a really slow fire rate. So once you take that first shot, if you're not accurate and diligent, you know, drop shot, jump around, move around. If you're not accurate on that first shot or you get a hit marker, which we'll talk a little bit more about later, um, then you have to follow up with a second shot. Nine out of ten times, number one, you just expose yourself on the minimap because silencers aren't really that good. Um, they do work differently in this game than most. I'll put a link in the description or on the an annotation on the screen right now, but they do work. But uh, it's quite different. Um, so, you know, the follow-up shot's hard to come by, especially with some of the 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 um, bolt action sniper rifles like the MSR and the L11 uh, so the fire rate really hinders you um, second of all you have to stand still this is um, this is one of the things that most people who try to quick scope don't realize if you watch this whole, whole game through and through every time I begin to scope in right every time I pull the left trigger to aim down the sight my my thumb literally comes off the left stick you cannot move and that's a disadvantage because say you have a strike or not a striker but an smg or even a um an, uh, a shotgun uh, you're at a disadvantage or you're at an advantage with a smg or a shotgun sorry because you can strafe shoot right now a lot what a lot of people don't realize is shooting with a sniper rifle if you aim down the sight and you start walking, you start strafing left, right, you even start walking forward, your sight starts jumping. And what that means is your bullets aren't accurate. So as you saw right there, just two shots, I had to move, stop moving as I was aiming in. It's kind of like a system you work down. And in all honesty, that's kind of messed me up over time with using SMGs and shotguns because um, I'm so used to it now. And I just did a reload fail right here. <laughs> Shouldn't have reloaded, should have got them all. But anyway. Um, moving on so like I said you have to stand still and that's a disadvantage because you are a very still not a moving target and uh, what that's that's one of the disadvantages people don't think about another one that some people might think about right here I got a hit marker and I had to stand still right I, I couldn't move so I had to die didn't have a choice uh, if he was accurate enough and, and quick enough on the sticks I didn't have an opportunity for a second a second shot so that's one of the instances right there where you die because of the hit, hit detection and things like that. You know, it just wasn't a good shot on my part. But uh, the perks, right? I cannot use Assassin. I have to use Quick Draw. And we all know that Assassin is, is, is a frowned upon perk, if you will. But it is a very powerful perk. And um, as you'll notice in almost all of my gameplays, especially if it's a team-based gameplay, if I'm not playing free-for-all, I'm using the support version of the UAV and the counter UAV, and that is it. Because I do not like being known on the minimap. Right here, you'll see I get into their little spawn, I get behind them, and I have an opportunity to pick them off. Unfortunately, I take a couple hit markers. You know, it, did, it didn't work out in my favor. I could have had a triple feed, but it didn't work out quite in my favor like I wanted it to. But I was able to get behind them, probably because I had a counter UAV up, or my friends, my team had them uh, occupied. So, you know, I don't get Assassin. I don't get that perk. I would like that perk, but I don't get it because I got a quick scope. So, I mean, that's a little disadvantage that I get and that a lot of people don't think about, you know. And then um, hit markers, man. You're going to catch quite a few hit markers uh, quick scope. And what that means is, you know, like right now, those are some pretty good shots. And then he was ready for me. He popped me before I could do it. You know, what can I do? He took a good shot. But, um,. I mean, what, you know, what, what are you going to do? You get some hit markers. The hit detection sucks. And, and, and a sniper rifle is just like uh, what a lot of you experience with the shotguns or anything like that if you're not a quick scoper. It is a, um, how you put it? It's a, a connection-heavy weapon, I guess is how I would put it. It relies heavily on connection. That's exactly how I want to put that. So if your connection is not good or, you know, the host in the game, I thought I had to throw a knife. I was turning for the guy to the right right there. But if your connection is not great, um, it's just like a shotgun in, in, in any other game or like Black Ops. I know a lot of people like to use the shotguns. Their connection reliable or they rely heavily on connection. I don't know how else to say it. 
Um, so you're gonna get a lot of hit markers, and you're gonna it's gonna look like you're shooting them in the chest, and and you're really shooting. You know, they're just a little bit further, you know, along than you see them. So you shoot them in the chest, and they're really a little bit further along. So you really hit them in that arm, and you do that 98 hit points worth of damage, rather than the the whole hundred uh, or whatever you're supposed to do. It's actually a hundred and like twelve. I think because it's a 1.4 multiplier. Anyway, that's enough of that math nonsense. But yeah, it relies heavily on connection, and that's a problem right now in Modern Warfare 3, especially right now because, you know, in most instances, you don't have a, a, what I would call a very reliable connection. So, you know, send your friends over here. Tell them, you know, hey, I, I know you think quick scope. Look at that. A little pop shot because I was walking. The bullet didn't go where it was supposed to go, where I, you know, originally would have went. If I would have stopped moving, um, you know, the bullet may have gone straighter, and I may have not had an opportunity to survive that engagement. But I didn't. But send your friends over here. Those who think quick scoping is balanced, I want to hear their comments. I want you to tell me what you think. You know, you think it's balanced? Do you think I'm just spitting that bullshit so so I can legitimate, you know, legitimize it for myself because I am uh, essentially a quick scoper, sniper, whatever you want to call me? Um, you know, tell me what you think in the comments below. Am I bullshitting? Or, or does some of the things I, sound, I say sound kind of legit? Like that dude right there, I turned on him. He had all day to shoot me. He just didn't do it. I don't know what else to do. But if you do think quickscoping is legit and you do want to give it a try, I'm just I'm going to put out another video very soon on tips on how does quickscope in-game, in pub matches. You know, quickscoping and free-for-all is completely different. But anyway, guys, 29 and 7, not a bad quick scope and sniping match or whatever you want to call it. And uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I know I'm running a little long here, but let me know what you what you think in the comments. Like I said, am I spitting bullshit? Am I, am I speaking the truth? Does it kind of sound like it may be a little more balanced than you thought it was? Let me know. Anyway, guys, hate to run long. I'm Six Sensei, and I'm out. Peace.